See you, Matt. If you're still there. Thanks for coming by. I do appreciate it. Let's just make it easier. It does, I reckon. Because they can definitely get to here. And here. So then they can get to here. They can't get any further. Let's just make sure. prevent them well and truly even if they come out here I'm not gonna be able to make it out there anyway just to make it even harder for them we can do that Lots of cheaty ways around this. See, if, every time I try and block them from doing it, I give them another path forward. Yeah. Here, up to here. Oh. Under here, they get teleported. Or do they speak to an NPC? Hmm, anyway. So now I want an array of them. The signs don't clone. So I have to remember that. So do I have one for each kid? Or do I have it so it's resettable? Well, in theory, if they all follow each other through the maze... Depends on whether I teleport them over there or not, I guess. Others can't get on. Also, mean they can't. So they can accidentally fall down there, but they can't go any further. All right, they come down here. They get teleported to any one of them that's arrayed around here. So if they, so it depends on whether I teleport them, which I don't think I'm going to do. Because am I going to make this a race? So if I said I'm going to teleport everyone to here. Right. And say they've got to go to the ship out there.
Right. Then they're all going to get there at the same time. They're not all going to... And they're not going to get here at the same time. So they're not all going to get through the maze at the same time. They're not going to follow each other through the maze. Right, so we get through to the captain. Alright, jump off and go through one of the doors. So do I set up an array of doors like I did? So I can have maximum of 30 in a world, so do I just set up 30 of these? You know, do I just set up 30 of them with 30 doors arrayed here that lock themselves like I had for reaction times? How do I do this? Do I just have stairways to each of these? Keep that one out there as my standard. But I want I don't want multiple students in the one jumping puzzle because that's just going to get confusing and difficult for them. I think I'm going to want an NPC over here. What I'm struggling with is how I get them from over there to over here, one at a time, only allowing one through. We 
We had this for the ACAS. It was based on radius of players. But it's going to be trickier to do here. Like if I want... Emails coming through. Hmm, don't know what that email was. So there's going to be an NPC here. Jumping in block placing to get on top of the playing block. Did I get it right? Nope. Oh. They can place them and break them easily enough. Oh, I don't know. Just to confirm. about that. Okay. And I'm not losing them. Oh, you can drop straight across here. Do I care? Nope. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks they need, and I've given them twenty. That's enough. Or do I give them ten? Hmm. Hmm. I'll think about that. Alright, so let's take a selfie here. Yeah. I think we want to land here. Hang on, don't do that. I can take photos, but I can't place him. Oh, they can't fall off there. They can fall off there, though. So, do I hope? Do that. If they're jumping from here. That'll stop them falling backwards accidentally when they're getting their photo taken. This one here. Put that there. Because that'll be a command block. Which will then be hidden. Like so. So that's the command block. To teleport them to the next place and get the whole world builder permission NPC intro 
Okay. I'm still stuck on this. I don't know the best way to do this yet. those doors work like that basically so that's four doors So I have a meeting in da -da 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 -da, 45 minutes. Okay, so let's try and get some of this done. Okay, so if by chance, so we're at 14. So it gives me 20. So we need to go further back. I want to go for 30. So I need to go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I want 30, I want to go back to. Uh, Five more doors. I knew that. One, two, three, four, five. Now that should be 30 different doors. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. So 
those 30 doors. Right. So now I just need 30 of them arrayed. Which is as simple as clone. And then going through and putting all the signs and things back down. And if I do this right, the coordinates and everything can be easily not all things considered it's probably gonna to have to be each command block I reckon we could make this look like storyline here. <laughs> the inside of a ship and these doors shut as soon as you walk through and that's it. So there's no there's no way that two people can go through the same door unless they do it instantaneously. Um, and that process is still to be determined like whether it works or not um, but okay so let's clone from here I need one of you. No, I need some paper. Up oh, here's some. Old coordinates down to new coordinates. Six twenty four sixty six one one four, and we're going to not this high. About here. Let's go 80 just to be sure. 6108137. So if we're going to do that, and this is, I'm trying to get my head around how the clone command works in terms of where it places. So I think it places from the lowest, which would be 6106611. Six twenty four eighty one three seven are the are the smallest and largest coordinates of that. So let's test the theory. So this is going smaller. So if I'm here and I go slash clone and we go 6106114 to 6248137 
to where I am now, do it. It did go back that way. So then if I come and stand here and do the same and come and stand here right come and stand about here will I fit another one? I don't want to risk it If we come out here, how many have I done? Two, three, four. I'd like to do another couple. I want to do five, six by five, five by six. Really like it to be much more ordered than this. Um, so that's five, and yet yeah, none of the signs transfer over, which is really annoying. There's six. So now, if we come over here. There's seven. Eight. Nine. And it's shifted on me. <laughs> Ten. Eleven. Twelve, thirteen. We'll get another one in there. Fourteen, I reckon if we came and stood over here. So here, that's 15, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can you rotate? No. So again, if we just come out here, I feel like I need to be a little bit further back. Killing me. This uh, I just need an oops. <laughs> um, if we go positive, positive. So if we go positive twenty twenty slash fill from where I am to twenty that way. 20 that way, 20 that way with air. Just sneak a little bit forward and do that again. Right. So, so that's at 68. So I want to be standing. I think I want to be at 66. I feel like. So if we go up, 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 one. So seventeen. <laughs> one to seventeen. Eighteen. 
19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 26 27 28 29 30 Okay go soon and get ready for this meeting so we jump off here onto this whatever it is walk through a door and we get teleported accordingly okay There's got to be a way I can do that so that it doesn't offend my grid-like niceness. Nothing there? It's got to be. Be careful of that last one, but I think I'll be far enough away from it. Okay, so let's do it properly this time. And we'll arrange it accordingly. I mean, ideally, I would like to clone it mirrored on this other side. But I know that's, yeah, we should be right, unlikely to be something I do. But if we say that this here can't attempt to do six deep by five rows all 
Right. So that's where I started. So we're going... Six ten to six twenty four, so we're going fifteen blocks. So let's put you there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let's put you there. Stand here. Go all the way back up. To that. Right, then come stand here. Do it again. Okay. So it's Find the edge one, two, three. From the edge, so if we were to bring that down, actually, if I do this on the original. One, two, down, and then out to here. One, two, one, two, and then two more, and then that block. So it would be two more and then the block I stand on. Let's see how much of it this clones. And then two more and the block I stand on. Three between them. One, two, three between them. Okay. So we need to come down, out, 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 and then the lantern. That's four. That's five. Down, out, out, this way, two. That's six. Nicely spaced. All right. And now we go twenty three the other direction. So if we come out. From here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. Stand here and do that. What happens? Right. It's going to be so much better for my own, as ridiculous as that sounds, 
it's going to be so much better for my own peace of mind knowing that this is all nicely structured and ordered call me crazy many people have many many people have So that's 12. What if we went 14? Yeah, I think we're better off doing that. So if we can. So that's 7. And we can do an 8th one out here. So that's 15 there. Right. And then what did I come out? <laughs> From the lantern. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dang it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. And the lantern's in line here. So let's just check that again. Two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, then the lantern. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, then a lantern, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and a lantern. That's much better. Much, much, much better. I 
think like part of as silly as this might sound part of the reason I'm so keen to have it ordered is so that kids know they're getting the same experience for as, as silly as that sounds um, I think if they are all higgly piggly all over the place I would worry, it's probably a silly worry, all things considered, because uh, the kids probably wouldn't care um, that the kids might think that other people are having a different experience to them. Um, and that's not what I want here. Everyone's going to have Then I don't want to make this multiplayer, as in collaborative. I want them all in the one world, but I don't want them... The reason I want them all in the one world, this is their first lesson in Minecraft, like learning lesson in Minecraft, and I know how distracting having other people in the world can be. Um, so I want to make sure that we introduce that to them as well. The whole idea that there are others around and you may not always be doing the same thing with all of like how can I explain that so you might not always need to work with them but you need to be able to work around them if that makes sense so the first 20 minutes or so of just exploring and playing around over there and making sure everyone's got the controls and all that sort of stuff um, can be more collaborative but over here it's not it's specifically targeted per student and each student needs to solve it not one student needs to solve it that's sort of the key there I reckon um, the only other thing I could have done better was centered it on this but I'm not gonna I could it just seems very silly to do. I'll consider that because that's just a clone move, I would assume. Anyway, because how much gaps between them? One, two, three, four, five, six. Not, not centerable anyway. Um, yeah, so this part is parallel play, what we would call parallel play. So they're in the same world, they're doing the same task, um, but they're not collaborating on it. And I think I like that. And then for the final bit where we do their NPCs, I need to be careful with that because kids might destroy each other's NPCs. but that's a thought for another time I am going to go and grab a quick bite to eat before this meeting um, thanks to everyone who dropped by and had a chat thanks to Trish for coming in and helping me build um, and thanks to Matt for hanging around and Ben for dropping by as well all right this needs to be done with the next couple of weeks so expect me to be back again in the nearish future doing this again thanks guys see ya